Hello guys, we continue exploring new features and changes in Laravel 11 and the last video in this kind of series so far will be about upgrading with Laravel Shift on the example of publicly available pull request on Frax blog done by Laravel Shift. So we will see not only how Shift works, but exactly which changes it suggests to make, which you may have missed while reading the upgrade guide or release notes for Laravel 11 in the docs. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Laravel Shift. I don't get paid for this video, but I use Laravel Shift myself as a user for some of my projects. And I already had published a few videos on Laravel Shift on this channel in the past. So the process of shifting the version is there and I will link those videos in the description below. But the result of Laravel shift is a pull request to your repository, which you then manually review, accept, merge, or make manual changes. So in this video, we will go through that Laravel shift pull request and see the changes. So the pull request consists of multiple commits conveniently separated by topics. So which change was made and why. And then in the main pull request, there are comments on specific changes with links and more information. So this is one thing we will read and then also files changed, 44 files. So we will quickly run through those and try to notice something interesting. And in this case, what Laravel Shift does is not just upgrades the version to Laravel 11, but also upgrades the structure of the application to use the new changes of new skeleton of Laravel 11. And this is, to be honest, pretty risky. So if you start a new Laravel project now, Laravel 11 new slim skeleton makes perfect sense with almost empty app folders, no service providers, and stuff like that. But if you do have all those files in your project already on Laravel 10 or from even earlier, it's an open question, debatable question, whether you should just upgrade Laravel version to make it work, but stay with the old skeleton, old folder and file structure. And Laravel 11 totally allows that or you perform extra work and pretty risky work to refactor a lot of your files to mimic Laravel 11 structure. And Laravel Shift officially on Twitter quoted the official docs from Laravel, which say, we do not recommend that Laravel 10 applications upgrading attempt to migrate their application structure as Laravel 11 supports the older application structure. So kind of there's no need. But to be honest, that do not recommend should be understood clearly. Taylor and the team, I think they want to be kind of on the safe side and avoid any crashes for your application. So you still may want to upgrade, but you do that kind of at your own risk almost manually or with the help of Laravel shift. And this is why in previous videos, I also said that for this specific version, if you want to migrate to the structure, I do recommend to use Laravel shift. Otherwise manually, it's a huge work. So yeah, with all those disclaimers aside, let's go through those changes. What shift has suggested to Freck and his blog. First, let's go through those comments. So some of those are just purely information. So Laravel 11 no longer includes core files. Also comment about config, then changes about ENV variables. Also renamed some of the ENV keys. So you need to be aware of that. Also policies are automatically detected and then shift suggests to upgrade the packages. Some information about test suite, type hints and changing a column with migrations, but it's actually not really actionable. Let's go through the code instead. So first change ENV example. This is how many new variables actually appeared in .env.example in Laravel 11. You can take a look in the official repository of Laravel Laravel. ENV example has app time zone, for example, which wasn't present in Laravel 10 version. Then scroll to more changes. So type hints and return types, which were introduced in Laravel 10. Shift is kind of enforcing that good practice. Then some files deleted as no longer present in Laravel 11. So exception handler, HTTP kernel, all the middleware files, which now become internal parts of Laravel framework. So a lot of deleted files here, then casts now became a method instead of a variable, but it still can be a variable. So this is kind of a debatable change. 
And in general, Laravel Shift is constantly evolving and upgrading. And maybe by the time I'm shooting this video, it made even more changes and maybe reverted some of the changes. Let's see what else do we see here. Casts as well. So probably in all the models, we will see the same thing. Yep, nothing really fancy here. Register policies as it's said in the comment and then deleted all the other service providers, which became again, internal functionality of Laravel. Artisan file, I'm not sure I know personally used it then we go to bootstrap app which is probably the most changed file in laravel 11 which became kind of a global configuration file and we talked about that in a few videos on this channel already so this is what was detected so shift detected custom service provider and moved it to with providers in bootstrap app also middlewares were moved here so what shift did is moving the files into Laravel 11 structure. Also exceptions as well. Then Composer JSON 8.2 minimum version, upgrade to some of the packages that were supported by Laravel 11. Then some changes to config app, which was also slimmed down by Laravel 11. So a lot of things deleted here, including providers and aliases, I think. So a lot of changes related to config files as well. In one of the versions of Laravel 11, Taylor thought to remove config files at all, but then he reverted the change. So majority of the config files still stayed in the skeleton, except for the few files which shift deleted as well. So config session and config view, for example, is not present anymore in Laravel 11. Then migration is just return type, validation language difference, not sure what that is, renaming in PHP unit, a few changes in public index, which I never really touched myself for quite a while. And then also a new routes console instead of previously used app console kernel. For tests, creates application was deleted and new test case created. I'm not sure it's probably individual to that specific application. This is how many things were changed automatically by Laravel shift. So I do think that you should use that and pay some money to Laravel shift to avoid doing that manually. But of course, again, it depends on your case and probably you will need to add more manual work on top of Laravel shift pull request or in addition to that to fully migrate to Laravel 11 structure. And I advise you to have automated tests before doing that. If you are new to testing, have a special course about testing in Laravel for beginners with both PEST and PHP unit. And then you would feel safer while upgrading to Laravel 11 because you would automatically test if your routes still work and are still covered by automated tests, at least to some extent. Now, what do you think about that upgrading to Laravel 11? Have you upgraded any of your projects already? And if you have, was it just version upgrade or was it the structure upgrade as well? Did you take that risk? Let's discuss in the comments below. And as I mentioned with this video, I'm finishing the series on Laravel 11 new changes and features. I think I covered pretty much everything main that you need to know over a week or two on this channel. But if you still have questions, shoot in the comments below. I may expand on more Laravel 11 things in the future. Also the review of Laravel Reverb is coming. We're working on that at the moment and more new things on this channel. So subscribe to not miss any of them. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.